Hello everyone, my name is Sharon Seaton and I'm the science teacher at Black Butte High School in Rock Springs, Wyoming. And I am wanting to share with you how I'm incorporating personalized learning um, in my students' uh, learning process. Um, I'm the only science teacher here at Black Butte as we are the alternative school here. And so I just wanna share with you here a little bit um, about what I'm doing and how it fits into the class that we're, that we're taking. So I'm going to go ahead here and share my screen. Maybe. Okay, so hopefully you are seeing this. This is our um, home page. This is um, the Moodle uh, Learning Management System at sweetwater1.ethinksites.com. And um, as you can see, uh, I am uh, showing you uh, what our front page looks like. Um, kind of, uh, kind of plain right now, but we're in the process of of making it look better. So, what I'd like to do is make sure, just make sure that you see this. Okay, here we go. That makes more sense. Sorry about that. Okay, so here are all the classes that are either in the process of being created or have been created. And as you look down the list, um, you'll see like animal science is not coming to the fall of 2018 because out here um, it is a year long process in order to get classes approved, we have to go through the local level, the district level, um, and then the school board of education um, in order for that. And so that takes about from October approximately to the following June. Um, so you'll see here um, some of the classes that we have. So our classes are all split up into semesters. Um, so because, again, as I mentioned, we're an alternative school, we have kids coming to us at different points in the school year, um, and so this makes it just easier for our counselor to put kids into a class. So like, for example, right now I have seniors who are taking physical science semester one because they didn't get that graduate credit um, taken care of as freshmen. Um, you'll also see here that we have lots of choices. Um, not only do we have science right now, um, but I have, like, here's a pre-algebra class. Um, if I go to the next page, um, you'll see that our um, social studies teacher is developing a government class. We have a world cultures class under development, an internship course, uh, maker spaces uh, kind of course. So um, the purpose of this, of this project, I started this in 2016, I actually 2015, developing the classes. This is the first year that we've actually put this online. So what I wanted the kids to have was voice and choice. So even though they're required to take physical science and biology to meet the standards of our state, our science standards, the third year and hopefully the fourth year, they'll come back and they'll say, hey, I want to take meteorology or hey, I want to take genetics. That's something that interests me. And because the classes are set up as semesters, you know, even though anatomy and physiology is considered, you know, a year long course, if they get done with semester one and say, hey, I want to take something different, it's really easy to put a kid into um, the first semester, let's say, of chemistry um, in second semester. So let me just go in here to anatomy and kind of show you the format. So here at the beginning of every class, this is what it looks like. So you have the news form, you have the syllabus for the class, um, a parent letter um, that kids are required to take home and show parents, you know, about what the classes are like, which includes grading, class policies, and those kinds of things. Um, safety contract, of course, is a science classroom. We have to have that uh, for liability purposes. Make a plan. That is a plan that I have kids do that um, they write down in writing how they're going to be successful. So like maybe what hours, uh, what days they're going to work on their class, how long they're going to work on their class, how, what technology do they have, what do they need. Um, and then the rest of this are resources. So lab worksheets, templates, rubrics, graph paper, patient charts in this case for anatomy. And then here at the bottom, you'll see a folder called BBLO Online Logins. That's Black Butte Learning Online. So if you click on that folder, this has all of the instructions for all of the online websites that I have kids go to. So like explorelearning.com, um, SAS curriculum, curriculum Pathways, wonderful student news net, just an awesome uh, a site for first primary resource articles that are just amazing. Glogster. Um, so anything that brain pop, anything that I want the kids to go to and they may be working at home, may not have me, um, to ask face-to-face, -face, that stuff is there. So just taking a look, um, you know, like I said, at this anatomy class, we have things broken down into units. Um, you know, there's tests, there's quizzes, there's labs, there's hands-on activities, there's projects, there's forums, um, there's notes that I can put on there, there's videos that I can put on there, um, you know, 
Excel spreadsheets, and then of course you here at the bottom, the science fair, we do a science fair every, every May to do that. So I do pace um, the kids. And so if you go over here to the right hand side, you'll see where it says assignments. And so now you'll see all of the all of the assignments, their due dates. So kids never can tell me, hey, I don't know what to do. Um, because then that is their responsibility to find out what's going on. Um, also on the right hand side here, you'll see a calendar. You'll see a way that they can message me, not only through that, but we also have the Google apps for education. So they can use Hangouts. Um, I have my phone on me 24 7, 365. I do have office hours, so I kind of, you know, keep my personal life separate from professional. But, you know, it's, it's really kind of one of those things where, um, you know, learning takes place outside of school, inside of school. Um, and it really is a flexible program, um, but yet we're, we're putting things in place so that kids can, um, you know, work at home. And, and also, like, for example, there was a medical issue. We have, we have girls who are teen moms. Um, so it really is a wonderful program, a wonderful way to get kids um, still interested in science, but yet have it be flexible um, for their learning purposes. And like I said, every fall I survey the kids. Um, to see what their choices would be. You know, if, if they could have a science class, what would it be? And if you notice here, um, I have a bug class. I had a student who was interested in bugs. I have a student who's interested in herpetology, so I created that for her for next year, microbiology, forestry. So the list could be endless here. I mean, you as, as many classes as I have time to create is as many classes as this project um, could handle. So that, I believe, is, is how we're doing it here at Black Butte High School. Um, feel free to contact me if you'd like any further information. Thank you so much.